here's our second example of drawing equipotential surfaces. So the positive charge 2q is held on a horizontal plane, and a negative charge minus q is held left of it. Sketch the equipotential surfaces around these two charges. Here are the field lines for the two charges. If you want to know how to draw these, you can go back to one of our previous videos. We're going to focus on the equipotential surfaces right now. The first thing we're going to do is draw little lines perpendicular to the field lines because equipotential surfaces are perpendicular to the field lines. And we're going to draw the easy ones first. So we're going to start with the ones that are closest to the two charges. So here are the two equipotential surfaces that are closest to the two charges. All that's left to do is to fill it in with dotted lines. So here they are. Next, we're going to add equipotential surfaces closer to the positive charge because the positive charge has a large electric field. You can tell that with the greater number of field lines around it. So it should also have more densely packed equipotential surfaces. So I'm going to draw two more around the positive charge, once again, starting with just the lines that are perpendicular. Here are the equipotential surface embryos, little lines at 90 degrees. You'll notice that they end up being more densely packed on the left side of the positive charge, just between the positive and the negative, than on the right side of the positive charge. And that makes sense because the electric field is stronger between the two charges than it is right of the positive charge. So once again, once my little lines at 90 degrees are drawn, I'm going to fill it in with a dotted line. Here it is. You'll also notice that the outermost line around the positive charge tends to be a little bit flattened between the two. And you'll see that happening with the final equipotential surface that I'll draw. Once again, beginning by drawing little lines at 90 degrees to be filled out later. And here's our final equipotential surface, all filled in. Notice that it's almost vertical right when it gets between the two charges, and then it starts curving. And you can imagine that on the right side of the picture, it would be almost circular. Spread the joy of physics.